Hey, how's it going? This is Jay. Are you about to pay for a cert? Well, don't. There's a great resource out there that will pay for a cert for anyone in the military community, whether you're a veteran, military spouse, transition service member, active duty reserve, or National Guard, and it's for free. You get one cert in many different industries that can help you out. Interested? Let's check it out. Perfect. Okay. We want to head over to Google, and we want to type in O2O. O2O is all to opportunity is ran by Syracuse University, IVMF program, Institute for Veterans and Military Families. If we scroll down to the bottom, it tells you how to apply, what the enrollment process is, O2O locations, any FAQs, and then you have the learning pathways. This is what we want to click on. So within the learning pathways, there's well over 40 different certifications in here. It's broken down by career track industry to include course content and recommended level. So if you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, if you're starting your career, you can use the beginner. If you're looking to try to pivot, identify opportunities, intermediate and advanced is in there as well. So let's break it down by industry specialization. And we're going to go over some of these certifications in here. So we have cloud services. We have three cloud services, certifications, AWS, CompTIA, and Azure from Microsoft. We'll scroll down some more. We have some customer service certifications in here. We have cybersecurity. We have it from Cisco and CompTIA, another Cisco certification. So this is a really good way to identify opportunities that's going to help align with your career trajectory. So if you find a job opportunity or you just want for personal development and these certs are the thing that's kind of separating you from being able to do that, you can take advantage of this without having to pay out of your pocket. You have data science in here, database management from Oracle. We have some more entry-level certs, CompTIA A+. We have the HR for a APHR, PHR, and SPH. Remember, you can only take one cert. So any one of these certifications are available to you. Just, just keep in mind, you know, this is only a one cert opportunity. So make sure you choose wisely. Make sure it aligns with your career goals and identify what it is that you're trying to do. If you're not too sure, do some informational interviews to touch base with people in the industry to figure out which cert will really help you move the needle. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have the Sec Plus in there. We have Linux. We have networking from CompTIA. We have CCNA. We have PCAP for programming, project management. We have the PMP and the CAPM. And we have the Six Sigma certifications in here. So a lot of different opportunities for you to take advantage of. Some really good certifications to kind of move the needle for you. So I would highly recommend utilizing this to help you in your career goals. We're going to go back to the start the application process so we can kind of see what the layout is for eligibility. So active duty in any of the services it breaks down the time frame and when you can apply. For veterans, you have to be on active duty for 180 days. Then you go to that, you got that, National Guard and Reservists and military spouses. You just fill out this form. And if you're close to any of these campuses or base, you put that and then you submit, they'll get back to you and you elect which certification you want to earn. And then you go from there. So I feel this is a really great resource. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Share this with others. I look forward to sharing more resources with you. Have a good one, everyone. Hey!